I guess being old school too, I, I still kind of have my attachments to the uh, the you know the PC Mac uh, hardware. Um, I had I briefly had a quick look at um, one of the new MacBook Pros, and um, it's been all sorts of uproar about it that it's not really a pro machine uh, because it doesn't have all the ports and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, and all that sort of thing. I just think it's a reflection of the the world that it's going into. Um, for me personally, I kind of like the idea that there's only one type of port on the machine and that it also, and that the four that are on the machine also yeah. double as a charging port. So it doesn't matter which one you stick it in, it's going to charge it. Um, yeah. Capability wise, it's, you know, they're ca- you know, obviously they're still capable. There's all this thing about it not having enough RAM for a pro user. Maybe these people, I don't know, um, maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe these people just need to get over it because I kind of think that, you know, there's, I'm using a, you know, a, a three-year-old machine. Yeah, you know, I can't believe I've had this Mac for three years now. Um, and it works perfectly well. It even does the 4K content, you know, that I'm now producing with my uh, iPhone. So... I know that there are very high-end use cases for these machines by, you know, like you know, Pixar and all of that. But, um, <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm torn on this because I'm a very old school and I think this is what we're seeing. This is, you know, the beginning of the end of old school mm. computing. The ports that have been on your computers now for the last 15 years are going and there's going to be a single port. Mm. I think there is the argument with Apple is that... <clears throat> They're limiting our options once again, you know, and it's just another accessory from Apple. Oh, you just need an adapter from Apple, you know. We've got to go through all of that again. But by the same token, I mean, I still remember being disappointed when Apple took uh, or dropped the 3.5 floppy drive from the range. (laughs) I can't even remember when that was. But I think it might have been when I got the G4. Mm. And... um, I survived. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. You can still do everything. I and it's a bit, bit, bit like not having a, a headphone jack in your phone. I, I don't know. We'll all survive. We'll all get over it. Having said that, I encountered a real-world scenario where that was a problem while I was overseas. Um, uh-huh. So the 4K camera um, and you obviously taking a lot of uh, photos as well really sat the battery during the day. So I'd get to about 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon and I'd have to get my, um, you know, sort of lith- lithium battery out to give it a charge because <laughs> we were out and about. And, of course, when you plug it in to get charged, um, there were two instances where we were traveling at the end of the day on a, on a day trip back on a train back to where we were so i said all right great all right it's going to take two hours to get back to wherever you know we were staying so i'll plug it in now because we're not going to be doing anything Uh. and then i realized after i plugged it in oh i can't actually use it to listen to music or listen to a podcast now so that was a real world example of where it wasn't useful and where i probably needed a a, you know a double (laughs) dongle or something to make it work (laughs) Oh, um, there you go. There you go. But that's only another accessory from Apple. <laughs> what's that? But I mean, I figured, well, that's only going to happen once every two years or something like that, maybe, if um, I encounter a scenario yeah, like that. Look, look, I think that's the thing. You know, I, I think with the, the with the single port structure that Apple's moving to, the, the issue isn't so much uh, the port. I think the benefits are there that you're saying, but I think everyone just gets tired, you know, of having to go through all that trouble of getting all the different USB cables and and Thunderbolt and whatever else, and it's taking that final step. But once everyone's on it, you know. I mean, that's what I mean. Another year or two, everyone's got the peripherals with the new port, and then you don't need to bother, you know. That's wrong doing it so and i guess as a final point on this before we move on is that um i i'd read that um despite all of the the hoopla and the uh, negative press um and the backlash they're selling like hot cakes apparently so um Look, apple, sure apple, 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 apple knows what they're doing i'm sure i'm sure they've done the uh, research on who would want this <laughs> oh yeah i mean i, I read that whole uh, um, you know a diatribe after diatribe on the touch bar and it's kind of like yeah, when when you have to talk about it, mm. it doesn't sound quite right. It kind of sounds like, what is it, a gimmick, whatever. But I'm sure when you actually sit down and use it, I bet it's bloody useful because I've never seen Apple put anything in that isn't. So, yeah. you know, I think everyone should have a good lie down. Yeah. 